What's going on guys, welcome back to another video, and I'm going to use to make a food truck. Now I also added some little seats here, um, I figured I'd want to do something a little bit different, because I also, it's very late at night, and um, I was like, yeah, let's do something kind of smaller and different. Uh, so yeah, here it is, it's nothing too complex or crazy or anything, but I'd recommend adding more seats, which I'll talk about all that at the end. And, uh, yeah, that I think is all I have time to talk about. So, with that being said, enjoy the tutorial, and I will catch you on the flip side. Alrighty, so the space you're going to need for this, is, or at least as far as what I am showing you how to make today, is going to be a 12 by 16 Now, the food truck itself is a technically 12 by 6 That thing right there is a 12 by 5 it's green and red concrete. But the actual thing is a 12 by 6 with the overhang at the front. Um... I'm gonna also do something that's probably gonna make it a 14 by whatever the other number is, 7, 6. Um, because I forgot to add detail to the front and the back. Left and right. You get the point. But, um, just to start off, I know I'm talking a lot here. I'd recommend making the entire front area bigger of all the seats or whatever, or just don't add them at all. Um, but I'm gonna start with that. So the first thing you want to do is you want to take out smooth stone and just... If you're following exactly what I'm doing, make the 12 by 16 space entirely smooth stone. Uh, so you're just going to want to break out this entire thing. And I'm not going to measure it, I already know the numbers, and I know they are correct. It's actually counted both. Um, which I did on accident, I accidentally counted the la or like the going backwards, which is the 16. And I was like, wait, I don't have to do that, but I ended up being like, eh, well I'll just use that instead. Hopefully everyone is having a good day or night as we talk about this. I am for the most part. It's been kind of a crazy day. I'm, uh, yeah, I'm uh, uh, but it's almost 10, 10 p.m. So it's a little bit late, but uh, yeah, we're here. Also, you don't have to use smooth stone if you have a particular preference with something. Gray concrete, cyan terracotta. Uh, smooth sandstone, or I guess any sandstone. Doesn't really matter. Uh, I just did smooth stone because smooth stone was the first uh, block that came to my mind that I think is good in this context. Contrast, con not talk, not contrast, context. Um, and then we'll do the food truck, and then we'll do the seats, and then yeah, we'll be on our merry way. All right. Now that you have that, we can do the food truck. So. Uh, get rid of your uh, smooth stone. There's a lot of inventory to get to get rid of. And you want to get out black concrete, stone buttons, polished deep slate slabs, red terracotta, birch doors, smooth quartz blocks, glass panes, and I guess we'll go smooth quartz slabs. And then we have one more inventory spot. And we kind of can't do anything with it. No, actually we can. We can do stone slabs. So. How do I want to do this? You want to come to the back right hand corner of your 16 by 12 grid cough cough if you made it. And you want to count left by two and place a black concrete. Okay. That's dumb. Uh, you want to place a section never mind, but just keep in mind that you do need another block back here If it's right up against a wall, it really doesn't matter Um, you just need to place a couple of stone buttons So if you have a row of slabs or something there, then I'd recommend just adding another block forward And if you can't do that Don't worry about it. You can remove the seating. You can take away a block from the seating area I just did uh, that much because you can see there's a big gap there. So if it's one smaller, no, no big deal uh, but you want to bring that left with five upside down polished deep slate slabs black concrete three upside down polished deep slate slabs then move forward with four is all corresponding to the grid by the way right to right with the black concrete five upside down polished deep slate slabs black concrete two upside down polished deep slate slabs Back by four, and then left one. Just like that. Fill in the center of this rectangle with upside down polished deep slate slabs. And then you want to place a stone button on the face, really the only face that you can place 
a button on on the black concrete except not the top because that'd be dumb um also another thing um as i mentioned that i'm probably gonna make the left and the right probably another block because like the pixel of the button or whatever it doesn't really matter if you don't have the space for it don't sweat it because the only thing that would worry about is if you have this crammed in a corner as access point because i don't think your average guy is gonna just jump and dive through that uh window but i mean he might i'm not gonna judge but i didn't add a door on the front just because of space which i mean you can fit one not ideally but you can all right so along the front you want to just place a row of red terracotta along the front row there we go like that I uh, that uh, that was terrible that i did the cinema right there because that's another red block then going back on the left side here place a red terracotta birch door two red terracotta and then going across the back here. You wanna play six red terracotta, birch door, and then four red terracotta. And then just connect four with three. There you go, quite simple. What I would do is at the right side, I'd place an extra row of red terracotta like so because then what I do is on that inner row of five I'd place a row of glass panes then bring the front and the back blocks each left by one and then bring that whole thing up with an additional row of panes bring that up with a C shape of smooth quartz slabs and then this is kind of personal preference you can, in these three blocks, either place blo smooth quartz blocks or upside down smooth quartz slabs. I'm gonna do upside down slabs just for that little bit of space, because I did, actually, I don't think that looks that good from the inside. I'm gonna do blocks. Blocks here looks better. Yeah. Now, going along the front from right to left, so from this pane going towards the birch door, you wanna place two smooth quartz blocks, glass pane then leave a three block gap and place three smooth quartz blocks and then the rest of the back and left want to be smooth quartz blocks like so copy that row one more time and then obviously you want the smooth quartz blocks above the doors Then bring everything up with a row of smooth quartz blocks there. Obviously not the slabs, but just we're just actually should have never mind. I'm stupid. And then you want to fill in the roof in this time with upside down smooth quartz slabs. You don't have to do this, it just gives you a little bit more room in here. Uh just it, it's not a ton, obviously it's only half a block of ceiling space, but it just makes it feel a little bit more roomy in here. So there you go. There's the bare bones of your food truck done. Um, what I would do is, below the little window here, the four blocks, you just want to place a little row of ups down stone slabs. And then on the roof, I'd leave a, well, I guess it's four block out from the right, then and three block out from the, no, it is three on either side. And you want to place four stone slabs, and it wants to be a four by three in the center, like so. That is just basically, uh, I don't even know what it could be. It could be, like, AC stuff. It could be, um... AC stuff. You could even make it like a, um, what are those things called? Skylight. Um, if you wanted some sort of ventilation or that, or speakers. Which you could even add like a little, I don't even know how you do that. There's a way. There's 100% a way. Maybe a copper rod with a something. Or just a copper rod. Lightning rod. Not copper rod. Frick. That's how much little I care about those. I don't even know the name. I mean, I got it right, I guess, in the end, but still, I didn't know it to begin with. Okay. Second wave of car material, or truck materials. It's not a car. You want to get out. Paintings. Dark oak signs, and then also to go with that glowing sack and white dye. Or bone meal, doesn't really matter. I always pick bone meal, because then I don't have to open the stupid dye section. Which always confuses me. Oak fence. Structure voids if possible. If not possible, string will work just as fine. You will need those again, by the way. Or that again, structure void. Red carpet and light gray carpet. And uh, we have one more inventory slot. What should we do with it, guys? What do you think? 
I'm just gonna leave it blank. That seems like a more reasonable thing than to try to squeeze them in there. Okay, so left and right of the window, the top row of the uh, little drive through window thing, you want to place an oak fence. Connect them together with either structure void or string. And then on top of that row of fence and uh, whatever the heck you have in between them, you want to place alternating red carpet and light gray carpet. I'd use white, but I don't want to have the smooth quartz and the white and all that. You can also bring, like, what I didn't do, which you could also do, is you could bring, ah, oh, there's a two, as a four block center. Do like that or something. I think that looks a little weird, though. I don't like bringing things too far forward. Rather a little lack. I'd rather a little smaller than bigger. Well, I guess, depending on what I'm doing. In this case. Um, to the left of the left oak fence, you want to place a dark oak sign. Go probably down the line and then type MENU in all caps. At least that's what I do. And then left click once with a glowing second. Bone meal. Now, here's what I did. I placed, this is kind of illogical, but I placed, will that hold that? I think it will. I placed a painting below it. Uh, I'll just do that painting. However, if you are doing a food truck, um, someone else did this, I think. Gaming Warehouse? Again, why is he always coming up now? But, um, <laughs> you can make map art of the menu and then just remove the entire Dark Oak menu sign because I think that does look a little weird. But I wasn't going to put two paintings or something or I wasn't going to have it different. I just thought that that looked a little bit better to have the two separate, the sign and then the painting. But map art, if you want to go through the effort to do it 100%, I think it's worth it. Um, just the hardest part is getting it all centered or whatever. But I'm sure you could, like, make an image online or something, and there's, if you're on PC, there are applications and stuff that you can get that can transfer, like, uh, files into a map. Just make sure they're perfectly square and the right size or whatever. But, uh, yeah. Now, you can clear your inventory. I'd recommend just, uh, throwing your structure void in your inventory, assuming you have one. I always just have it there, because I'm not like, I'm just not gonna get it each time. Or you could, or I guess, uh, block pick it. But you do want to get out this time, um... I'm just gonna go with the button stuff. So I'll go birch buttons and mangrove buttons. And what I'm gonna do is at the front and the back, I'm gonna just place a birch button on the side and then a mangrove button on the back. And also what you can do, okay, the mangrove kind of blends in there. Hold on, crimson maybe? Crimson doesn't blend in as much. You can also take, uh, I guess birch sign would be most accurate and just place a little, not the door, just place a little birch sign hanging down. And then if you want the grid of it, there's a couple different ways. Uh, ladders I see used sometimes. Um, I mean, I think that's okay. It doesn't look amazing. But uh, I don't know. I kind of play around. Even oak trap door would work probably. That looks a little clunky. Maybe it's the ladder. I don't know. Play around with what you might think looks better. But that's what I do for the front. And then if you want to actually type in license plates, I think that'd be really cool. And, um, that take a lot of work, though. But, I mean, you know. And even if you wanted to add an extra thing, this isn't how actual license plates work. They have, they're separate, so, like, let's say I'm in, uh, Colorado. Colorado? Okay, yeah. I was gonna say, yeah, I almost forgot if Colorado is a state. And my license plate is 6969. Somebody in, uh, Washington can have the same license plate, I think. I think that's how it works. But if I'm another person in Washington, Seattle, Washington, I'll say, I can't get the same license plate as a different guy in Washington. It's just, it's by state and thing. But you could do, like, if you wanted AZ3421 or something for Arizona. Arizona's a state. <laughs> I don't know why. I always get the city and the state confused sometimes. Alright, I'm sorry about it. I've been rambling so much about random little things. But now you can come inside your food truck, and I think we can get almost all of this in one swoop, although I actually don't think we can. I'm going the wrong way in my photos. Give me a second here. Okay. Get out to start off. Dark oak stairs. Levers. Polished black stone buttons. Yeah, we're not going to get anything. We're not even going to be close. Stone. Cauldron. Water. Bucket. Orange and yellow dye if you want. Uh, I know the color does look a little odd, but that's what I'm going to go with. I'll go stone stairs, and I guess I'll leave off there. So, we're going to orient this as though the way that the food truck is trying to drive is the front. 
So, come to the front, and you want to come to the second row back, and you want to place a dark oak stair on the left and the right, facing towards the front of the food truck. At the left side, I guess, the, yeah, the left side, place a polished blackstone button along the red terracotta in front of the seat, and to the right of it, place a lever. That's like, um... It could be dashboard or it could be stick shift. Um, I'm if I were to say something, I'd say stick shift. If this door was another block back, I'd probably be doing more with this, but we don't have room to push that door back. Well, actually, we do. Um, but you know, you could do more fancy things with the dashboard if you really wanted to. Although I'm not extremely like fancy with it, so. And then what I'd do is along the right side, going back, I'd come to the second red terracotta behind that door and place a cauldron. Fill it with water, left click once with orange and yellow dye, that'll give you this color. If you want to go a little more orange like that, which... Oh, orange, yellow, orange actually might be better. Maybe. I don't know. I don't look at big heaping baskets of oil a lot. But, this is supposed to be a deep fryer. In case you couldn't tell by that comment. Uh, and then bring it back with a stone block. Then an upside down stone stair facing right. And then... I think that's all that we can do with our inventory. Darn, we can use the stone buttons again, though. But we don't have them. Um, clear inventory and get out. Tripwire hook. That's a nether star. Uh, white concrete. Iron trap doors. Cyan terracotta. Okay, this will definitely get it, I swear. Glass. Will it? Hold on. Dark oak trap doors. Oh, we're close. Gray concrete, item frames, we're really one short, we're really gonna do this, and stone buttons. Actually, we can make it work. Um, above the stone stair place, a tripwire hook, going back from the upside down stone stair place, or not, that's not upside down, that's facing right, I'm sorry, did I say upside down? I might have. You wanna place two white concrete going back with an iron trap door on top of either one. On top of the iron trap door is placed gray concrete. To the left of the back block, place a stone button. To the right of that, place an item frame. I put a glass pan in it originally. I'm actually gonna uh, sacrifice my inventory in a sec for that. To pl you know what? I will right now. Just get rid of your stone button and get out a glass pan. There you go. It looks a little bit better because the glass block sticks out like seven more pixels or something. I'm not gonna give you the exact number, although that's somewhere like that. And then to the back left, place in this corner going up, cyan terracotta. Glass block, dark oak trap door. And that could be whatever you want. That could be for drinks, that could be for um, pretzels, soft pretzels, could be a lot of things. My original intention was soft pretzel. Could even be popcorn. Popcorn machines are like that, except not gray. I'd put drinks in here, though. This would be my drinks thing. Like maybe this is drinks and uh, I don't know, other stuff. And then this could be ice cream, because everyone loves ice cream. Um, but yeah. Also, something I completely forgot to add is lighting. I was like, yeah, I'll do that, and then I never did. Um, so what you could literally just do is come to the top center here, place a sla another slab and then a lantern or something. That is very in the way. Um, maybe one at the front and one at the back. Perfect. It, incredible. It, it, it just won't. It won't work. Will that work? Okay, no. Bedrock moment. I think that would have worked on Java, I'm not going to lie. Maybe I'll just settle for there. That, there we go. I know that looks not right because it's not center. You know what? I'm just not going to do any lighting. Or no, I'll do a torch. I'll do a torch. Torch right there. That looks okay. It's not anything fancy, but like, you need lighting, right? Although that is a safety hazard because it doesn't open flame. But, there you go. There's your food truck done. If you don't care about the seating, bye, I guess. Um... If you do care about the seating, which, um, good for you, you get to stay longer, you want to get out, dark oak stairs, glass pans, hey look, they're back for redemption, uh, gray carpet, while we're here, red and white carpet, I guess, uh, spruce fence, and then again, either structure void or string, it doesn't matter, I don't want this bucket though, that can leave. Um, so, if you are doing it how I am doing it, what I would do is I'd come to either corner, I'm going to start on the front left, and I'd count bat or f 
back row on backward by one and place going back. Dark oak stair facing right. One block app. Dark oak stair facing right. Back diagonally to the right of the dark oak stair facing forward. One block app. Going right, stair facing forward. Four diagonally to the right of the stair facing left. One block app moving forward, stair facing left. Four diagonally to the left of the stair facing backward. One block app moving left, stair facing backward again. If that sounded confusing, it, it's just a square, basically. There you go. Pretty easy. Um, if you want to just do both at a time, go for it, I guess. Because this isn't really a hard pattern. Um, then around the outside of the 3x3 three three in the middle, you want to place glass panes with gray carpets on top. And that will give you a hole in the center, and if you don't screw up like I have on literally ever- Okay, that is kind of funny. Oh my goodness. Um, in the center, you're going to want to go up here with- Oh, uh, we need smooth stone slabs. Darn it, I forgot about that, sorry. You want to go up with three spruce fence, and then a smooth stone slab. Starting that third fence up, you want to place structure voids, or again, string if that is your option. And then going around in that square shape, alternate between white and red carpet. Like so. God dang it. Like so. Nice little umbrella. I just want to do that. It doesn't even cover the people, so I'll make it bigger if you want. But, my goal is to cover the table, considering this is outside and there's no shade or anything. I was like, yeah, let's make a little umbrella to cover. So again, just to refresh, I'm actually going to start the table this time. Um, there. Yeah. Three by three glass panes with the center punched out and then gray carpet on top of each pane. And the center go up with three spruce fence and then a smooth stone slab. Surround the top fence in structure voids and or string. Alternate on the structure void or string with white and red carpet. And then place your dark oak stairs basically on the first and third block on each side. Not like that. You could do, I guess, a full boost. Not booster. Yes, booster. Booster? That sounds wrong. I don't think it's that wrong. So there are your tables. Um, obviously, if it's... It depends on your setting. If this is in like a small town, maybe you only want three or four seats. I only did two because that was all I could fit in the small space that I gave myself. Because I, well, I didn't want to go any more out on either side of the food truck. But, um, yeah, if you wanted to, you could go, um... If you, but if you're in like a big city, maybe you want like 10 or 12 seats or something. Just, you know, kind of think about your space and what everything is around. And, uh, yeah, just make a decision on how many seats you want. And if you want to obviously change up the design, maybe have some without umbrellas, some with, or whatever, you know, it's completely up to you. But uh, yeah, once you're done that, ladies and gentlemen, that is your food truck, I guess with, uh, seats complete. Complete. I didn't say that loud enough. Thank you guys for watching this video. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. Let me know you guys think of this one. I know it's a little bit different. It's kind of just a simple thing, rather than the big buildings I'm always doing. But uh, yeah, if you've finished your dinner, and I will see you in the next one. Peace.